Mm. Again, there's a straw. Good. Six. Six hundred. So race from Tom. Henry and Art make the call. And 10 still good here. Tom checks back. Sort of a pretty, pretty far ahead, pretty far behind situation with pocket 10s. And with two aggressive opponents in the hand, I don't mind checking again here. But I can see the logic for betting Nine. as well. Nine. Thank you. Thank you. Art continues the pair of eights. And hits two pair on the river. Tom, a very aggressive player. Does he think he can eke out a little bit more value here? He's absolutely fearless with these kinds of value bets, but unluckily for him, Art's caught up on the river. Tom's line does not look overly strong. Does Art think he can squeeze in a raise here? He does, and both these plays are things we don't routinely see here on HCL. Tom going for two streets of value after checking the flop on this board with effectively second pair. And Art going for a raise here. Really puts Tom in a tough spot because he kind of capped himself on the flop by checking back. Took the best hands out of his range. And now does he think that Art's just getting out of line because of that? All in. Wow, he's going to shove. Blocking 10-9 with two 10s in his hand. I did not see that coming. And Art does not have oh, much you, behind, you but he quickly like folds. Wow. Oh, nine. <laughs> yeah, nine. What a play from oh, Tom. One nine. Ah, one nine. You got pocket tens, baby. He gets Art to fold two pair after putting in four, four, five. something like 40% of his chips. <sighs> nice time. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Lock up mode. Yeah, yeah. Five under. Eighteen under. Three bet here from Dan. Draw for Dan, a pair of trays for Tom. You got it, bro. I should have pulled the trail. 
I'm the button though, whatever. You don't fall for a lift with the stand up one? Oh. I guess I can fall, but I don't know. I told him, I don't blame you. Okay. I had a button. I can see why you would come. I see, I see your argument. Yeah. If it could come like that, yeah, I mean, or you could be just. Fuck everyone. <laughs> I could just make, I could river his face, you know, and maybe I just say. Yeah, I think, oh yeah, first I get paid two pounds. I get paid a nice bunch of money. And then, two stories calling on any one liner. Dan keeps firing. That's a one liner out. Really hard spot to hold on with just a three. Tom's gonna try. Oh my god, Magic. What's wrong with you, Magic? You need to catch, you need to catch his hands outside, bro. He's telling you right now, bro. Oh yeah? <laughs> I'll wait for him, buddy. <laughs> Tom with a very yeah, sneaky yeah, Queens up here. Was, Pretty was, great card for him, right especially because <laughs> it's the kind of card where Dan could consider firing a third time. You watch too much Dave Chappelle stuff. <laughs> Magic you know what I'm talking about? Uh, a little bit, a little bit. Yeah. There's like an episode where like the dude's like writing in the letter and then and he goes, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I'm thinking of Birdman, bro. He has that book song. Uh, Looks yeah, like he's. Going to bed. Keeps looking down at his chips. And there it is. Tom still loses to aces and kings, but this is a great run out for him, and Dan can have all kinds of stuff. For like 38 hours. Quick call. And Tom's going to win a 61K pot. That probably would have worked from Dan if. Tom and had any kicker with his three except a queen. Thank you, buddy.